welcome to the show. An increasing number of Indian couples are adopting children. Here's the story of one such couple who's adopted not out of circumstances, but out of choice. Achint and Namita are a young urban couple who adopted a baby girl about three years ago. Namita is a dog trainer and caterer and Achint a software engineer. Their little girl is called Veda. Uh, even before we decided to get married, um, Namita was always talking about adoption and how she's worked in the past with uh, uh, certain uh, uh, organizations which take care of uh, kids and she said she wanted to adopt and I was perfectly fine with it. I was actually pretty happy with the idea. After we got married, uh, I think, um, uh, I guess after about five years, uh, we, we filed our papers yeah. for adoption. Yeah. What about your families? How did you engage your families, you know, in this, in this passion of yours or in this pursuit of yours? They knew from the beginning that we were going to adopt one day. When we were about to file papers, Actually, um, our parents helped us out quite a bit. So, uh, from getting reference letters to uh, going to the agencies, taking us there, uh, meeting the people, um, they were with us through the entire process, which was which was really nice. It made things uh, easier for for both of us. How was the process for you? I mean, uh, how did it start, and um, was it easy? The process starts with quite a bit of paperwork. It's all for good because that's that's part of the process that that prepares you for adoption. It, it asks you questions where uh, you you need to think and you need to put your reasons down. So as as a family, you tend to have a conversation around those questions, and you know we sit together, fill out the forms. Then we are waiting for the home study to happen, and the social worker comes home, and you know they talk to us. They uh, they look at the place. They if our, if our parents are home, they meet them and yeah. all that, and then they submit a report, and then uh, it's basically anticipation. It's it's like you know you you are expecting, and that's when the clock starts ticking, and you know you're always excited, waiting for the call to come through. And at least for us, it was a lot of fun getting the house ready for a baby. So how long before Veda came home, and how has the experience been, you know, since? It wasn't very long uh, with the agency where we filed papers. I mean, they told us right away that they had a baby, but the baby would be legally free only in two months. So we were prepared and they told us when to come down. And Veda came home just a couple of days before Diwali, so it was really special for us. And then we had a, a pretty big party. Uh, we had everybody home, everybody we knew, all our relatives. We were very excited. And yeah, Diwali that year was like awesome. Veda was... Um, pretty easy child to bring up at least you know she slept through the night so that was a big thing so she wouldn't really wake us up but uh, and she was very playful and, and cheerful she's now three and a half years she's a pretty bubbly kid totally carefree never had any hang-ups always laughing always playing it, it was a learning process to to get the child home and then we need to figure out what the next steps are, make the home child proof, and child safe and a lot of little things that, that, that get taken care of in a big family. We, ha we had to learn all those things and plus uh, we, uh, once she came home, I think uh, right about that time we joined Sudhata which is an adoption support group and they have uh, sessions which are related to general parenting as well, which were extremely helpful for us. And then we also learned the adoption specific part of parenting, where, you know, uh, things that we could take care of, like the language that we used, the, you know, the positive, we call it positive adoption language that we use around her or around people. It's nice for her to have that group and it's nice for us that we have that group where we can speak about our fears and our uh, challenges that we face as adoptive parents. Probably when she was just about one, one and a half years old, we started telling her Krishna stories and we had Krishna story books and she learned the concept of having two mothers, one being the birth mother and one, one being the, the mother who brings her up. So I think a lot of these things come uh, with uh, interaction with Sudhata and, and our peer group. Given that you've seen couples at Sudhata, and uh, families outside. Do you think there's uh, much of a difference between you know, raising an adopted child and raising um, a biological child? 
there there is there are certain differences so for example one of the things being a very basic uh, thing wherein you have to tell your kid that uh, you know they have two mommies for example and and the the way we've become a family is is slightly different from the way that other families are formed and we need to sort of impress upon them that uh, uh, it's it's the way that a family is formed it could be birth it could be adoption a lot of it is similar the disciplining part and you know bringing up and teaching them values all that is very similar to how you would parent a biological child but there are also little differences because somewhere you've got to realize that you made a family but your child has already gone through experiences before you became a family so you know your child has suffered a loss that has happened before we became a family and that is something that you always have to consciously keep in mind i mean it, it, a lot of people come up and tell us oh you're so lucky oh what you've done for veda is so lucky but when you adopt you don't really feel like that because you know that it can't be lucky for any child to have to go through that so it's very important for them to be confident we've been telling our uh, veda since she was one and a half two that the story about her how she came home and how uh, she was this really beautiful girl and and god want, wanted her to be uh, with with our family and so now she's actually if somebody asks her she goes ahead and tells the whole uh, adoption. adoption story i mean yeah. she knows it as her adoption story and she's she's uh, okay with it she's yeah. perfectly fine she's she's yeah. proud to tell it a lot of our friends are adopting and have adopted after she's come so she's getting to see how those babies have come and she is getting to see how friends of ours who become pregnant are also having babies so she's beginning to realize that yeah it's okay i mean babies can come into a family in different ways so that's nice for her i'm glad that she can understand that and take it from there well i absolutely enjoyed getting to know namita achint and veda and understanding the choice they've made it is such a beautiful family If you're planning a family, I hope you do consider adoption. I'll see you on the next episode.